In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen, dearly beloved in Christ, and Father, Emmanuel, Aouya, and Allah, I share with you a touch of God's love. That's a short of election and prayer on the Ulmar Seedings of Tuesday, 4th June, 2024. The readings are taken from 2 Peter 3, 11 to 15. Uh, 17 to 18, Psalm 89, 2 to 4, 10, 14, 16, and Mark 12, 13 to 17. The theme of the reflection is how not to pull yourself down. How not to pull yourself down. The first reading says, You should be living holy and saintly lives while you wait and long for the day of God to come, when the sky will dissolve in flames and the elements melt in the heat. What we are waiting for is what he promised, the new heavens and new earth, the place where righteousness will be at home. So then, my friends, while you are waiting, do your best to live lives without spot or stain so that he will find you at peace. Think of our Lord's patience as your opportunity to be saved. You have been you have been warned about this, my friends. Be careful not to get carried away by the error of errors of unprincipled people from the firm ground that you are standing on. Instead, go on growing in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be glory in time and in eternity. Amen. Then the Gospel says, The chief priests and the scribes and the elders sent to Jesus some Pharisees and some Herodians to catch Him out in what He said. These came and said to Him, Master, we know you are an honest man, that you are not afraid of anyone, because a man's rank means nothing to you, and that you teach the way of God in all honesty. Is it permissible to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Should we pay yes or no? Seeing through their hypocrisy, he said to them, why do you set this trap for me? Hand me a denarius and let me see it. They handed him one, and he said, Whose head is this? Whose name? Caesar's, they told him. Jesus said to them, Give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. This reply took them completely by surprise. Beloved, the Gospel shows that if we do not want to pull ourselves down, we should not try to pull anyone down. If we want to pull someone down, we may end up pulling ourselves down. That is what happened to some Pharisees and some Herodians who tried to pull Jesus down. They came to him to trap him into trouble with a question. They asked, is it permissible to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Should we pay yes or no? If Jesus said yes, it will, seem, it will imply that he was supporting the colonial rule of the Roman government which is wrong. So they would say that he's a false messiah because he's supporting what is wrong. And they would turn against him. If he said no, they would report him to the government and he would be in trouble. So they wanted to put him in trouble by all means. They wanted to put him in trouble. Aware of that, Jesus gave them an answer that made them look very foolish and disappointed. What he said implied that 
They were supposed to fulfill their duties towards God and society. So it is foolish to set the two against each other. You don't set your duties towards God and your duties towards society against each other. They all have their places. It is so their question was a foolish one. So they became ashamed and walked away in disgrace. If we don't want to, dis to be disgraced, we should not try to disgrace anyone. The first reading shows that if we don't avoid pulling down people, we may end up in something worse than disgrace, that is, in hell. This is because a day is coming, according to the reading, a day is coming when the sky will dissolve in flames and everything in the universe will melt in the heat of the flames. Everything will be bent by the fire. Only righteous things, only righteous people will be saved from that fire. So after every bad thing is burnt, the earth and the heavens or the skies will become new. We'll have the new heavens and the new earth. The new universe altogether. And if it is not happening now, it is because the Lord is patiently waiting for many people to repent. But, it, but we, should, we should know that a time will come when the cup will be full and God will no longer wait. That is why the reading advises us to take the Lord's patience as an opportunity to be saved. By repenting from wicked and sinful ways. Instead, we should pursue holiness and righteousness so that when the day comes, we will not be found wanting. In other words, we should avoid sinful ways in order not to pull ourselves into disgrace or into hell. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to avoid pulling people down, no matter what the person, no matter what the people have done to you. In the name of Jesus, you will not pull yourself down. You will never pull yourself down. Amen. Can I share God's love by sharing this message with others? And subscribing to this YouTube channel to enable us to do more. The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. And may Almighty God bless and protect you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.